history is a source of pride on the Tulalip Reservation, as is the person who currently works as a Tribal Victim Services Coordinator. You've had a, a long, long trip to this point. I attribute it to my parents. Jackie McCormick has jumped through a lot of hoops from her days on the Nez Perce Reservation. Back then you played with your own tribe or your community and there was a lot of pride representing who you were playing for. My great grandpa started a basketball tournament in Lapway as one of the longest running reservation tournaments um, in Indian country. You know my biological mother was the first Idaho State Player of the Year and I never knew that until I won State Player of the Year as a freshman. Her trajectory was interrupted after Jackie says she was shunned by classmates for providing information about a young boy's murder. It was a tragedy that happened on my reservation and um, it was something that, you know, it, it hurt me to the core of, of knowing, you know, having information. And she moved to Oregon, rebounded, and caught the eye of a recruiter at Illinois State where she got an athletic scholarship and won a championship. A story she says that shows how anyone, and particularly indigenous youth, can rise above their challenges, which is also the name of the nonprofit she now runs that uses basketball to raise awareness about drug and alcohol abuse. You know, if we have a drug and alcohol talk from 12 to 1, you'll get auntie, grandma, uncle, and a couple cousins, right, to watch the talk. And when we say we're going into a community and we're holding a basketball clinic and we bring in a Coach Wilkins or, you know, another pro former professional athlete, we get over 100 kids every single time. It sounds like you, you think there's some commonality with some of the work that you've done in the past. Because it's young people. It's working with young people. And, uh, and I've always had uh, the feeling that young people are our future. The Hall of Fame you know, Seattle tomorrow, Supersonic coach hasn't happens. stopped there, adding another title to his resume. Movie producer. As a kid, uh, I loved the movies because uh, it showed that uh, people could make a difference and how we could change our world. Wilkins is now one of the executive producers on a full-length feature film about Jackie's story, along with former Sonic Gary Payton and actor Danny Glover. Already in pre-production, it is slated to film in the summer of 2022. It's kind of a, a scary thought, putting all of your, <laughs> not only your accomplishments, but your challenges and maybe some of the not so smart decisions that you've made in your life, like up on a screen for the world to see. That if it just impacts one kid, it's totally worth it. Representation does matter. On the Tulalip Reservation, Chris Daniels, King Five News.